Marshmallow, the Jonas Brothers. It's Leave Before You Love Me on WROI. And it's uh, Thursday, and that means it's time for From the Bench. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have good news, so I'm always excited for good news when it comes to zebra athletics. Yes, we do. We have some good news. Um, we are going to play uh, football. Varsity football Friday night, tomorrow night, Barnhard. The gates will open at 5.30, and we're expecting a great crowd, homecoming. and uh, It's also Military Appreciation Night. There will be some activities there that they will bring in, a rock climbing wall. Um, and it's uh, the Ken Hughes Benefit Dinner is also happening. Um, and it's homecoming, so we will have the parade, uh, which will finish at the... Um, at the gate in the parking lot about between 6 and 6.15. So they'll be coming down Main Street. I think they're going to leave Grace Church at 5.30 and head that direction. So, um, yeah, there's all that stuff going on. And then we're going to kick it at 7 o'clock. So kick off 7 o'clock. And, of course, uh, we'll have complete coverage of your game. Uh, 6.30 pregame. Uh, Randy Wynn and Ray Davis will have that for us. So. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the Ken Hughes Benefit Dinner. You know, unfortunately, uh, it was postponed a couple weeks ago, so I'm glad we're getting that back on the calendar. Right. It, it was, it's a big undertaking, as are a lot of these um, activities. And a lot of planning goes in and things like that. And then when the plug is pulled, um, you know, it's it's heartbreaking, not just because of the kids and the community can't participate in all the activities and things that they're really, really ready to participate in. But it's a little disheartening for those that have worked very hard to put things together to make it uh, make it a fun evening, a fun activity. So we are very excited to, that they were able to push that back. The First Christian Church has done a great job and and we're excited for them to be able to. Uh, have that dinner with drive through at the front door, the west doors of the high school. Um, you can pick those up, those dinners up. They're eight dollars, and that's a sandwich, a drink, chips, and a cookie, I think. And then they'll also be in the gate inside the game. Um, you know, as kind of to supplement kind of the concession stand. So we we've just got so much going on, and we're really looking forward to it. And of course, you know, the big thing right now is it's homecoming. It's zebra football night tomorrow night. Lots of great things going on, but there are still other sports going on, too. Yeah, yes, there are. We've got the boys' tennis sectional. They won the first round last night against Knox. They swept them, and so they're going to uh, head back over to up to Culver, and they're going to play uh, CMA um, tonight, and they're a perennial uh, powerhouse um, there. But Coach Atkinson's going to take the boys up there and, and see what that's all about. And then... Um, we have the TRC cross country. The middle schools and the high schools will be at Tip Valley um, Saturday morning. Uh, we also have uh, youth football will be at Barnhart Saturday morning, um, and so that's pretty exciting. And then we got the soccer sectionals that are that are getting after it um, next week. They both play on Tuesday, and um, next week we have two home volleyball matches. One with Tip Valley on Tuesday night, and that'll be senior night, and then Whitco on Thursday. So, and uh, junior high football is still in action next Tuesday, and our JV football is going to be playing on Monday. So, there is plenty going on. Yeah, I mean, it sure sounds like it. This is you know a good time of year as uh, fall sports start to wrap up. Uh, I know you guys are already starting to look. We're we're into the countdown into the teens for girls basketball. Yeah, it's uh, two weeks. I think is what Coach Jennings told me. Um, I haven't really, I haven't looked, but I feel like that's about where it is, right around the end of fall break. So I know kids are chomping at the bit to get in. They've been um, in two days a week for two hours um, at a time for about the last three weeks with their coaches when they're allowed to be with their coaches it's kind of an open gym setting and they can work on some things and um yes the the uh the idea of getting out and and i don't know this talk about going back to normal is very exciting i had mentioned earlier that we had a bonfire the homecoming <laughs> homecoming bonfire was last night and we probably had 150 kids and it was fantastic it was a lot of fun and it, you just feel like the kids are just ready. Um, they, they were a little awkward at the beginning. They're not sure how to 
<laughs> how to operate together in a big group because they've not been allowed to do that for so long. But they uh, they got it figured out, and it was a lot of fun. Good. So, I mean, uh, you know, we'll start switching gears here very shortly from football to straight basketball and all the other winter sports as well. Um, I know things will probably be a little bit different for attendance, possibly for those indoor events. Um, any kind of look ahead yet or are they still not sure well as we're we're staying on status quo with the four tickets per participant to um to give to um those folks and if you so if they have an all sport pass they they bring the pass as well as the ticket that they get and um, then they can come in and we keep that ticket so we can count keep count on how many um are in the gym and looking ahead that's not doesn't look like it's going to change um I haven't had a chance to talk about the uh, talk to uh, Mrs. Vance or Mr. Hawes about yesterday with CDC. That's a that Wednesday deal. But, you know, we're, we're kind of in that holding pattern. Hopefully we get through fall break and then assess and see where we are. And and uh, we, we just you know, we want to be making popcorn and nachos and pretzels and get concessions back to normal and get people in the gyms. And and I think the community is ready for that as well. I absolutely agree with you. The community is probably on the verge of being beyond ready for it. Uh, I know it's always a good time to come out and support Zebra Athletics as a whole. So come out uh, tomorrow night and support the Zebras for homecoming. Yeah, I think, you know, with with the cancellation of the uh, the Valley game and, and then the Peru game, um, it's going to be absolutely beautiful fall weather. Um, it's going to be great with all the pageantry and the activities going on. Uh, Kinsey Bradley will be leading the team out in her uh, National Guard Reserve uniform, carrying the flag. So uh, the boys will be in the uh, military appreciation jerseys. And, uh, oh, I also forgot to mention this will be staff appreciation night also. So a member of the football team has asked a staff member to wear a corresponding jersey uh, to the game. So I know the staff is really looking forward to that. And they'll be recognized, uh, I believe, between the first and second quarter where Mr. Moore will ask them to, to stand and be recognized um, from, you know, from the from each player's standpoint, those those staff members that mean that much to them. So there's going to be a bunch going on and we just hope we can um, get everybody in the gate for that seven o'clock kickoff. Yeah, so uh, come early, get some food, some great food for the benefit for Ken Hughes, and then stick around for exciting zebra football. Yes, that's the plan. That (laughs) is the plan. (laughs) All right, well, uh, Mr. Rainey, we look forward to talking to you each and every week as things kind of fluctuate and change every day, it seems like. So uh, thank you again for stopping by today. We look forward to talking to you again next week. All right, thanks. Thank you.